Okay, let's talk about how we can use the directive data function uh, uh, for Laplace transform, okay? So basically, like, you know, I stated like Laplace transform of like delta function is here, okay? Well, it is in the like Laplace transform table number, number 17, okay? It is number 17. Okay, so well, we have to practice how we can use this guy well, okay? So let me give you one example, okay? So well, like, you know, the proof of this one is on your textbook, but if you want to learn from me, then you can contact me or you can come to my office hour, then I can show you how we can prove this one, okay? But like, you know, for now, let me give you one example, number five, okay? Like, let me show you how we can use the direct data first function, like for difference equation, okay? There we go. So, like the process same, okay, we're gonna apply the Laplace transform on the side, then it is two Laplace transform of y double prime, Laplace transform of y prime plus two Laplace transform of y equal to Laplace transform of delta function t minus five. Is it okay? Then, okay, let me work on the lifting for y double prime and y prime. And this is two times s squared y, y, y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero and plus s y s minus y zero and plus two y s and this guy from table number 17. It is simply um, e to the minus 5s. Is that clear so far? Okay. So like now let me apply, uh, let me use all the initial value, which is zero. This is zero and this is zero and this is also zero. That's it, okay? So let me update. 2s squared ys plus sys plus 2ys equal to e to the minus 5s, okay? Then as we did before, factor ys outside and 2s squared, s2 is equal to e to the minus 5s. We're gonna divide by 2s squared plus s plus two on both sides. Then your ys is equal to uh, e to the minus 5s times one over 2s squared, s plus two. Are you with me so far, okay? Now next step is we're gonna do, we're gonna apply the inverse Laplace transform. Okay, let me do it, okay? Then my, my solution curve yt is equal to inverse Laplace transform of ys, okay? Which is equal to inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus 5s times one over 2s squared, okay? Then look at uh, table number Number 13, okay? What does that mean? This part must be H of S. Then your inverse Laplace transform with minus five S of this one is a unit, of, uh, unit step function um, of U, I mean, U, U5 T and H of T minus five, right? Is equal to U, 5t times h t minus 5, where your function h of t is inverse Laplace transform of 1 over 2s squared plus s plus 2. That's okay. So, like, as you can figure this out, and it is perfect. Okay. So, well, for this one, maybe you can try to factor your denominator, but it is not easy then maybe we have to make it as perfect square form. And to do so, let me take what half out and it can be written by, uh, let me write on the bottom, is equal to one half inverse Laplace transform of one over, since we take like two out from the denominator, we have to multiply one half, right? One half S plus N1, okay? Then we can use like first two terms to make like perfect square. 
I mean, this guy is equal to s squared plus what one half says s, right? One half divided by two, which is one fourth, and take the square, which is one over 16. Whenever you add something, subtract same thing, and that's perfect, right? Then that is equal to the first three term is perfect square, which is s plus one first square and minus one over 16 plus one, which is plus 15 over 16. Okay, so let me write this one like on the next page which is equal to one half inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one for square plus 15 over 16 right but like i would love to write as a square form is that clear okay and this one definitely we have to compare with the uh, um number uh, number, give me a second, number nine. Okay, so let me write number nine, okay? <clears throat> Let's start here. Which is Laplace transform of uh, e to the at sine bt is equal to uh, b over s minus a squared plus b squared okay so like my a is negative one fourth okay which is e to the negative one fourth right one fourth t but another part is like you have match with this guy and this guy okay i'm talking about this guy right then you must have that guy here but whenever you do it like this way that you must multiply something Reciprocal. Does it make sense? Okay. Then it's gone. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Then with this idea, like let me do like this way. It is two over square root of fifteen inverse Laplace transform of fifteen over four and s plus one four square plus fifteen over four square. Okay. It is perfect, right? My a is negative one fourth and b is square root of fifteen over four. Okay. So that is equal to two over 15 and e to the minus one fourth t and sine function with 15 over four t. Perfect. Does it make sense? Okay. So now we are not done yet. Okay. With this one, that is my h of t, but we need um, h of t minus five. Okay. So here we go. Now let me write my finance. Okay. My solution curve y t is equal to u five t times h of t minus five, which is two over fifteen e to the minus one fourth t minus five times sine fifteen over four t minus five. That's it. Okay, and that's it. Okay, you can simplify a little bit more. I mean, like you can change the order, but this is perfect. 